Hey everyone! Here's the second part class development of Thief to Assassin Cross in Ragnarok Origin Global. And if you haven't watched the first part video, you can check the link in the description box. And before we start, I would like to shout out Ikong for lending me his account to showcase how a small spender SinX can progress in global server. And I know everyone can relate to this since this job is not free to play friendly because of its two weapon. So without further ado, let's get started. After you change job to Assassin Cross, there are actually three builds that you can choose. First is the usual dual dagger auto attack build. Second is the Qatar Sonic Blow or Qatar Grimtooth build. Then the last build is about Soul Destroyer. In this video, Ikong showcases the dual dagger auto attack build. And same from the level 50 equipment, just craft the two pieces level 70 sandstorm daggers. Also, take note of this. Do not focus on your current level 70 build, rather prepare for the upcoming level 80 crit type build and I will discuss more in this video. As for the armors, I highly suggest that you skip making any level 70 armors. The reason is simple. Leveling from level 70 to level 80 is still easy thing to do and crafting level 70 armors will be a waste of hidden coins, especially if you have to craft two daggers, then transferring refinement and modifying the equipment are all expensive. Better save your hidden coins for enchantment, because it costs too much, just to level it up and to get higher stats, and save your current seni for level 80 weapons and level 80 armors. Now for the cards, I recommend using a stem worm card for accessory. One copy of Max Awaken a stem worm card will be enough, then the others will be Mantis or Cobalt cards. For weapon cards, invest on elemental cards like Vadon, racial cards like Hydra and Goblin, and size cards like Scale Worker and Minerus. At level 55, their score will be unlocked. I recommend to use the Momentum Management Module Core for additional attack speed. After Shock Core for additional crit rate and Corrosive Poison Core for additional damage when attacking Fire, Water, Earth, and Wind property. And to further increase your normal attack damage, at level 58, modification will be unlocked. Modify both weapons to 100% and choose normal attack damage stats. Next is about the enchantment, and it will be available at level 60. What you need to get is the sharp gold enchant because it will be the future build of Assassin Cross at level 80 when the shooting star dagger becomes available. You can get 4 sharp gold enchants on two weapons and two accessories. For skills and stats build, check this out. At level 70, Valkyrie statue becomes available. This new feature is easy to understand unlike the Valkyrie feathers. For starters, focus on these two. The Valkyrie dual statue and the Valkyrie wisdom statue. Valkyrie dual statue stats will increase your attack and magic attack, while the Valkyrie rune statue stats will increase your physical damage and damage reduction. Another thing is Valkyrie statue materials are limited per week. Make sure to buy all of its materials on Diamond Shop and in the Guild Vending Machine. If you need diamonds, try to always participate in the boss hand, then sell the Illusion Card Fragment. For grinding, daggers have penalty damage when attacking medium and large size monsters. What you need to do is to maximize your damage by hunting small size monster like Dokebi.
And if you're going to participate in the boss hunt, make sure to tag along with Master Smith because its weapon perfection buff will negate the size penalty by 100%. So even if you're going to attack a large size monster or boss monsters, you will deal 100% damage as long as you have weapon perfection buff. Okay, so let's talk about your future build at level 80. And it will be the pure crit double dagger auto attack build. At level 80, shooting star dagger becomes available. It will give you a lot of crit rate and you need at least 105 crit rate in our current patch and more crit rate at level 100 plus. That's why you need to get 4 sharp cold enchants as early as possible and cobalt cards if you're lacking of crit rate. You also need to balance your stats and at least 450 attack speed. Another is you might want to buy a goblin series card for weapon and make it tier 1 for additional 5 crit rate. So that's all in this video and I will update this guide when we reach level 80. And you might want to check my other video, just browse it on my channel. So I'm out and peace yo! Shit.